An effort to curb the cost of prescription drugs is getting mixed reaction tonight. A bill sitting on Governor Mike Parson's desk would expand which pharmacies get to take advantage of a federal drug discount program. Missouri Capitol Bureau Chief Joe McLean is hearing from supporters and opponents. Ron Fitzwater is the CEO of the Missouri Pharmacy Association. Many of his members would stand to benefit from the 340B program if Governor Parson signs the expansion of it. To help compensate hospitals for uncompensated care for individuals that just come in without insurance. So it's a win-win. The bill on Governor Parson's desk would remove a drug manufacturer's ability to restrict which pharmacies are allowed to get that government discount. Hospital groups will say it increases market competition, which they say will lead to lower consumer prices. However, opponents fear this will incentivize hospitals to immediately monopolize pharmacy markets, leading to higher consumer prices. Our top priority is making sure that the discounts that we are providing as pharmaceutical manufacturers are making it to the patients that it's intended. And that's not the case right now. Dami Williams directs state public affairs for the Pharmaceutical Research and Manufacturers of America. She said Congress needs to fix 340B before it's expanded to place safeguards and accountability and track exactly how the program is benefiting actual patients. Williams says without that accountability... Large hospitals are... Um, buying up these medicines at discounted prices from the pharmaceutical manufacturers, they're deeply discounted. And then they turn around and charge both uninsured patients and insurance companies these higher prices. And they're pocketing the difference. Fitzwater concedes that monopoly is a risk, but he believes the benefits outweigh that risk. There's always the risk, but I mean, you've got to try to set up legislation that has the best chance of helping the most people. If some of the what ifs come about, and then we'll go back next year and try to fix it. The bill's sponsor, Senator Justin Brown, did not respond to our request for an interview, and the House sponsor, Representative Tara Peters, was not available for an interview today. In Jefferson City, Joe McLean, First Alert 4.